Hi there, I'm Adam from JavaScript Academy. Today we will create this responsive navigation bar using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. It will look and behave nicely in desktop, mobile and tablet views. I don't want to rub your time, so without a further ado, let's get started. It's time to open up your editor and we will start with implementing the HTML markup. As you can see, we start with a standard HTML5 boilerplate. First, I will give a title to our document and link a styles.css stylesheet where all our styles will go. We will use that later. Now we will add the markup needed for our header. We will use a semantic HTML element called header, which acts like a simple div, but it makes your site more accessible and therefore more search engine optimization friendly. Inside the header, we will add a div with an ID brand, we will use that for styling, and it will include a link for the home page. So the href is just a slash. Next to the div, we will add another semantic HTML element, nav. It is short for navigation, and it helps screen readers and search engines to understand that the content of it is related to navigation, which is our main purpose here. Inside that, we will create an unordered list and fill it with list items, which contains links for several pages. We will use home, products, about, login and sign up. Please note that this navigation in this example won't work because we don't have these pages created. But if you want to practice, I highly recommend to create these pages and hook up the navigation. If you save everything and open this page in your browser, you can see it looks really poorly. So let's add some CSS styles to make it much prettier. In our styles.css file, I first import a Google font called Poppins, but feel free to use the font of your choice. Then I remove any browser default paddings and margins and set the box sizing to border box. For the body, I set a dark background color, a white text color, and I set the Poppins font that I included. Next, we will remove all text decoration from our links in the header. Now comes the interesting part. We will set a little horizontal padding to our header, set it a dark background color and give it a fixed height of 50 pixels. We will use a CSS3 feature called Flexbox to align our header items. We can do that by setting display attribute to flex and we will use justify content space between to push the brand div to the left and the navigation links to the right. If we open up our browser now, we can see that Let's add some more styles. We will start by adding some styles to our brand div and we will use display facts here too and use align item center to center it vertically. We will also set a green color to our brand. In the browser we can check that it is now nice and centered vertically. Let's work on the navigation links now. First we will remove the bullet points with list style none and we will use flexbox again to center it vertically and give it a little space using space around. It's still ugly, so let's work on that. We will set a white font color for every link in our list, and for every list item we will add a little spacing with 5 pixels of padding and space them evenly with 10 pixels of left margin. It looks way better now. We will add some interactivity by adding a hover effect. By adding these rules, when the user hovers over the navigation links, they will grow a little bit. Now let's work on the login and sign up buttons. I will give them a border radius and a little bigger padding with one pixel solid border. And I will use blue for the login and reddish style for the sign up. I use these same colors for the button text color. If we open up our browser now, after saving everything, we see that we have a really decent header. The problem is that it is not responsive at all. If we open up the DevTools and start to play around with the screen size, we can see that on smaller tablet and mobile screen sizes, the header collapses and it's not looking good. So it's now time to make it responsive. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but if you are enjoying this video and learning something new, please hit the like button below so it can help others who want to learn. Thanks a lot and now back to the video. Now it's time to go back to our index.html file and add the markup for our mobile layout. We will first add a hamburger icon, but we won't use any icon fonts. We will create it from separate divs. We will give them a class of bar 1, bar 2 and bar 3. We will use these classes to make a micro animation later. 
next to our hamburger icon, we'll place an unordered list with the same list items that we have for desktop. It can be weird for you that we placed the mobile menu inside the hamburger icon div, but it won't matter because we will use absolute positioning to show our mobile menu. Before we apply styles to our mobile menu, let's add a media query, which will hide our desktop navigation bar when the width of the user's device is less than 600 pixels. If we test it in our browser, we can see that our menu disappears when the screen's width falls below 600 pixels. Let's style our hamburger icon. We will center it using margin auto zero. We will hide it with display zero because we only want to show it in mobile. And to indicate that it is clickable, set cursor pointer. Next, we will style the bars in the hamburger icon. I define width, height, background color, and vertical margin for it. I give it 0.4 seconds transition time, which will affect our animation. Now it's time to add the micro animation to our hamburger icon. We will only apply these styles if the hamburger icon has the open class, which we will toggle from JavaScript. We will rotate the first bar with minus 45 degrees and adjust it with translate, fade out the middle bar with opacity zero and rotate the bottom bar with positive 45 degrees. So this is how we will get the X shape from our hamburger bars. Now let's add some styles to our mobile menu. We will use Flexbox here with flex direction column. So the list items will stack below each other and we horizontally center them using align items and make them start from the top by defining justify content flex start. Next, we will position our mobile menu. We will use absolute positioning relative to the body element. Set 50 pixels top offset because this is the height of our header and set the width to 100% and the height to 100 viewport height minus the height of the header. Note that we have set display none because we only want to show it in the mobile view. We can preview them if we set display block to the mobile menu and the hamburger icon too. If we take a look at it in the browser now, we can see that we have the hamburger icon and when we resize the window below 600 pixels, we almost have the layout that we wanted. So let's now make sure that the hamburger icon is only displayed in the mobile view. Don't forget to modify the mobile menu and the hamburger icon display back to none. To show the hamburger icon only in the mobile view, we have to extend our existing media query and we will set display block for our hamburger icon. Now if we check it in our browser, we can see that the desktop and the mobile view is working perfectly. The only thing we have to add little bit of JavaScript and a minor HTML modification. So in the opening div tag of the hamburger icon, we will add an unclick attribute and call a toggle mobile menu function and provide the this keyword as an argument. It will reference our hamburger icon div. We will also need to include the script in the bottom of our document. Now let's create this index.js file and write our toggle mobile menu function. It will receive a menu parameter and we will use classlist.toggle and provide open to it to toggle the open class on our hamburger icon. If you save everything, you can see that we have a clickable hamburger icon which opens and closes the mobile menu. And that's it for today's video. If you watched till the end of this video, you would be probably interested in further educational content from me. If so, consider hitting the subscribe button below. I see you guys in the next video.